Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky everybody. This is Alon Paul and this is our 500 sub anniversary uh, extravaganza. We're going to do a short little video here in thankfulness to everybody who has subscribed and I want to thank everybody really from the bottom of my heart for adding your subscriptions to my channel. It is very, very heartwarming to know that there's that many people out there that really have been enjoying the content. I've been loving all the comments that everybody's been making, and I really appreciate everything that everyone's done so far uh, in regards to uh, supporting my channel. So thank you very much. So what we're going to do today, I uh, decided to do just something a little bit different. Here on my ship, the Death's Head, which is one of the ships that Grand Admiral Thrawn had in his fleet, and... That's why I decided to name it such. She's one of my favorite antagonistic characters in the universe. So what we're going to do is we're going to, as you can see, I'm in a dissonant location, and I wasn't really impressed by it, to be completely honest with you. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for a dissonant system real close by to look for one in order to find some corrupted sentinels. Oh, there's one. I think we just saw it. Yeah, they're just bouncing all over the place, aren't they? It's here someplace. Oh, there's one over there. By Keen, one star. Let's at least get a two-star system. I honestly don't know if it makes any difference whatsoever. And we'll go up here. Sometimes you can just jump on them right away. Sometimes it takes you a little work to find them. Here, here's a Gex system here. Industrial, and it's at war. So let's go ahead and select this system. We'll take our raider into the system rather than the ship. And why do we do that? Because that way we can scan all the planets right from your freighter. So that is a good way to do things and we're going to do basically a corrupted sentinel battle. We're going to start with that and then towards the end of the battle I'm going to leave the planet and go take out one of their motherships. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, first of all, I want to make sure my weapon's up to snuff. Okay, well, it looks like we're in good shape. I'd love to use the bolt caster, to be honest with you, but I don't have the upgrades ready for it yet. Uh, the rest of the upgrades. Uh, let's see here. I need ammunition. There we go. And one more. Doesn't hurt. Okay, so let's go analyze the system that we're in real fast and look for that corrupted planet. All right. Nope. 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 It's not the moon. This moon? Oh, it's a moon. Breached. Hmm. Okay. We'll get a good battle out of it, but we're not going to find anything on it. So, but that's okay. Or a ghost bowl miner. Ghost bowl. Sounds very European. All right. So we're going to take... I kind of like this ship here, but it's really not up to snuff yet. And that is a ship that I'm using to search other planets with, so I'm not going to use that. There she is. This is my newest ship, the Hunter. And as you can see, it's kind of a neat little ship here. I'm using, it currently is on the Sentinel Cannon, which is all fine and dandy, but I'll switch over to the Infernite. And the damage from that is just absolutely immense. So let's get back into the third person view. And just so you know the layout of this ship, this is the reason why, is because this thing is putting out an incredible amount of damage at 87,000. So I could probably hit 100 if I had the right layout. And I'm looking for that one ship. Uh, so let's see. So it is a moon of one of these planets, I think. That's not what I was trying to do. It's not that moon. It's got to be that one, I think. There she is. And that's where we're headed. So now these breached moons, if, if the planet itself is not habitable, you won't find crashed ships there, and you won't find any of the multi-tool stations there. But you'll still find the Sentinels. You'll still find all the stuff on the planet. So, for instance, I'll go ahead and demonstrate it for you. I'd be very surprised if we find anything here, but I'll go ahead and demonstrate it. Everything goes purple as we get closer to the ground. Yeah, we're not going to find anything here. 
So we're going to go in here, and I'm going to select this. See? No harmonies detected in the system, so you won't find anything here. But it's got all these lovely little things here everywhere, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and land. It doesn't make a difference where. All right. Next thing we want to do, let's switch over to... Where is it? Hijack laser. I want to go ahead and get some of these radiant shards while we're here. And try to keep the hijack laser above above anything else. It's very, very handy. They eat up anything around you much, much quicker than your own mining laser will. And if you can get your hands on some of these light fissures, they're a glitch item. Uh, looks like this one. And you can add it to your inventory and you can add it to your base. They're very nice to have. Okay, so anyway. So there'll only be one life form on the entire planet. So if you look around and look for red dots, you're only going to find the one singular life form that might exist. See, there it is. If I can get it. Nope, that's not it. Okay, let's get closer. Wow, it looks like a light source is the creature on this planet. That's incredible. Fox prey for days. Does that mean it might try to attack me? No? Okay, that's interesting. Be an interesting uh, creature to use as a pet. But anyway, so we could go ahead and get these things here. But what we're really looking for is we're looking to attack something. So, let's take a quick look around. We're looking for not radiant shards but they're equivalent. We want to find the ones that carry the mirrors. So we may have to search around by ship in order to find what we're looking for here. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, go figure. Anyway. I thought I heard something. Hold on. Nope. Nope, it's just the shards themselves are reacting. Okay. Okay, where am I ship at? Am I going the wrong way? Yes, I was. So let's take a look around and see what we can find, shall we? So we're looking for the big walking mirror-like things. It's not one. That is a radiant shard. Sorry, I got real quiet there because I'm trying to make sure. So we may not even find any of these creatures on the planet if we don't. Let's see what happens. That's just a radiant shard that we're finding. I'll go ahead and grab it, but that's not what we're looking for. So we may have to find ourselves another system. Isn't that a shame? Let's get close to the ground and allow things to pop back in. There we go. Well, I'll be. So you won't find any of them there either. Love the hovering ability of these ships. You gotta love them. If you get yourself a Sentinel ship, man, I really, really recommend it. I've got a couple videos out there that teach you all about it. What's that? You did see that on the radar too, right? Right? That's interesting. Hold on a second. I want to see what that is. That's these guys. Hmm. Some walker brains out of it anyway. All hardware is imperfect. We're going to feed it. What does it give us? This one gives us the fifth. And this one is the same kind of thing. Digits. The tenth. 
Okay, so that's what those were. All right, I was just curious. All right, so my guess is that this system does not carry anything of value. And it's not going to help us at all. Because we're not going to find what we're looking for here at, at all. We can't even have a nice sentinel battle. So we will have to find ourselves another system. What a pain in the neck that is. Off we go. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Sorry about that loud door, I tell you. I still fixed that. We're going to go ahead and exit the ship. We're going to go ahead and look for another system here. And then we'll get started. So let me go ahead and pause the video here. We'll be right back. And we are on our merry little way to a three-star system. So let's go ahead and get that moving along. This is a Viking system. A little graphic delay. Love how he's like hanging in the air every single time you do that. Okay. And I found it on the first shot. An Arctic planet, Limonora. Okay, so what do we got here? All right, very nice, very nice. Okay. And this is, by the way, this is in the Euclid system, in case you're wondering. Not an Isentum like I normally hang out at. for battle. And everything should go purple as we get closer. Nice. Easy does it. Easy does it. So we're not after those. We're looking for... Let's see here. Is that him? No? That is not. We're looking for one of those walkers. Let's see if I can find one. And let's see. Probably passed one or two and I'm not seeing it. What was that? That is a monolith. Okay, that's great. You know what? Let's try something here. I'm beginning to wonder. Okay. So we're okay there. So we'll head to one of those places there. We'll check it out. You'll see it as well as I will. It's all left and the storm is done oh what do you know it literally is right here huh. okay so now we should find some corrupted sentinels nearby this ought to be interesting I'm not seeing them. That is absolutely hilarious. It's like they're afraid of me now. Let's go ahead and do what I usually do while I'm here. Hey, we'll go ahead and grab that. That's nice. I'm not sure what this is doing yet. This is leading up to something. All these numbers it gives us. The third, the fourth. I don't go for the other wheelbarrows every single time. Harmonic lockdown. Now, I found some quick way to get through this. I go to input glyphs, I exit, and I can go right to it, and it shows me all three. It's always 
there's 13. In this case, the second number is almost always 9, and then 15. So 13, 9, and 15. 1, 1, and we're already there. 13, 9, 15. There we go. Deactivate, and let's check out this multi-tool and see what it has. It's one of the pistol versions, it seems. It's an A-class, and it has two slots right over here, right next to each other. So I might grab it and check it out later. What I will do is I will switch my multi-tool to the one that I want to get rid of. And we'll do an exchange. This one looked great, but it turned out not to be so great. So, okay, so now we got it. But now we're going to switch back to unpeaceful resolution. Okay. So I'm going to go back over here and we'll look for a ship. Come on now. Bring us in. And there we go. So now as we're on our way, we're going to actually look for something. I'm curious as to the ship that's here. I've never... This obviously... No one's ever been to this area. See, I discovered it today. So... Let's see what kind of ship they've got here. They're always about 20 to 30 seconds away. This one's even closer than that. It is a moon, so... Hmm, interesting little ship. So this is the front of the ship over here. Looks a look at that. That's a pretty cool ship. What... What matter is it? It is a C-Class, so it's really not going to be worth my time, but we'll check it out. Okay. It's kind of nice. Like an all-gray model. That's pretty cool. So if I can find one, I'll probably hang out in the system for a little while, and I'll look for another ship if I can. But let's look around, shall we, and see if we can find what we're looking for. Got some more radiant shards. Radiant shards. A lot over there. Plus an unknown building. Let's see if we can take a quick jaunt over there at the unknown building and see if we can find any sentinels over there. Because I'm really kind of surprised that I'm not finding any sentinels anywhere. There we go. Not the kind of place I was looking for. Because I'm sure you've noticed that there's literally nothing around. And I thought we would find at least something floating around on this planet. Let's check out over here, see what this building is. Because if we can find something with sentinels at it, we should be able to get our ball rolling here. This is going to be a trade station. Probably a minor trading station. Because it has us going a long way to get to it, so... go here and take a look, shall we? I am not finding any sentinels anywhere. There's one, finally. Okay. Oh, and there's one of those things. Okay, good. So we're all set, folks. Let's go ahead and start something, shall we? There it is. 
In case you're wondering, you haven't done this yet, this is what they look like. And they do not attack you directly. I can get up on top of the rock here. We've started a fight. They heal each other. I always get a kick out of that. Alright, let's go down here. There we go. Now we have some level ground to work with. Where'd he go? There he is. Multiplying. I love that. The swarm is multiplying. Kind of creepy. And then there's these guys. Oh, they're a pain in the neck. Oh, and I really don't like when they do that. We're at level four. So we're going to get ready to go here in a minute. Once we complete out level four. Can't believe I forgot to. Oh, I hate that. Ugh. And then they blow up. come at you and then they blow up again. I just, it's really a cool tactic. But you know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna head into space. So what should happen... Base and we'll take out a battleship. Yeah, you guys keep showing up. That's kind of a bad time. There we go. How did I not get him on the first pass? Here we go. go. Where'd he go? Wow, they built up their shields quick, don't they? There it is. Level 5, you know what's coming. Woohoo! 
we are literally destroying this ship before it even has a chance to shoot all its lasers at us. Let's go around the other side at the very least. That's not what I was trying to do, come on. There we go. Okay, we're gonna get out a little ways and we're gonna come back to the ship. So you can get at least a really good view of this. Ready for this? So much for overpowering, right? And here we go. There is a screenshot for the ages. I think that's going to be my next screenshot. There we go. Don't ask me what just happened. <laughs> Awesomeness. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done. Yeah, just get yourself an overpowered ship with uh, you know crazy, crazy cool weapons that uh, can just take everything out in seconds. That's what you need. So I'm going to be checking out this planet at another time. Actually, that's not the planet I need to be going to. Where'd my planet go? Is this it? This is it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to head in just a little closer. That should be good. Uh, not an asteroid field. Really? You know how many times I've tried to look for an asteroid field and I can't find one anymore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut it out. There we go. Let's pull on our freighter. Excellent. Love those explosions. you got to get the timing right on the pictures. Though. you got to get it just right. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. This has been another episode with the Lawn Paul and No Man's Sky. And again, happy 500 to everybody. Thank you very much. It wouldn't be the same without any of you. At least that's the way it should work, right? So again, I want to thank you all for watching. Please hit that like button. Encourage your friends and families and other members to subscribe. I would really like to see if I can't hit a thousand by the end of the year, but we'll see what happens. So we're going to take a little step outside and observe the view. And we're going to thank you all for coming and being with us today. Thank you all for being a part of this channel. And we'll see you all at, I guess, 750. Take care, everybody.